In this video, we're going to walk through how to write a recursive formula for the Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Follow along on your worksheet. So here's our problem. Write a recursive formula for the sequence of the minimum moves in the Tower of Hanoi. We're already given a table that shows the minimum number of moves, f of n, based on the number of disks, n. There are two parts to a recursive formula, identifying a term, usually the first term, and defining the pattern. Right away, we can identify the first term here, since it's given in the table we can see the first term is one. And that we can write that as f of one equals one. That's the first half of our recursive formula. I'm writing it in a box on the side so we can easily come back after we're done working on the second half of the recursive formula. Next, I need to find the pattern that defines this recursive sequence. Remember, recursive means a specific term is defined by using a previous term. So I'm looking for the pattern that gets me from one turn to the next. We found this pattern earlier when completing the Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Let's walk through how to find the second term using the first term. The first term is one. We multiply it by two and add one. This gives us the second term, which is three. Let's keep going to find the third term. The second term is three. We multiply it by two and then add one. That gives us the third term, which is seven. We do the same thing to find the fourth term. The third term is seven. Two times seven plus one is 15. That's the fourth term. The pattern continues. The fourth term is 15. 2 times 15 plus 1 gives us 31. That's the fifth term. Now, I want to generalize that pattern into a formula. I know the general pattern is 2 times the term before plus 1. To write that as a formula, I need a way to represent the term before. We can use f of n minus 1 to represent the term before. That gives us the second part of our recursive formula f of n equals 2 times f of n minus 1 plus 1. We finished our formula. The first part, f of 1 equals 1, tells us that the first term is 1. The second part tells us that we can find the value of the term n by multiplying the term before by 2 and adding 1. Next, let's check our formula by using f of 4 to find f of 5. To start, identify f of 4. f of 4 is 15. Next, let's use our formula to find f of 5. f of 5 equals 2 times f of 5 minus 1 plus 1. We can simplify that to f of 5 equals 2 times f of 4 plus 1. Plug in our value for f of 4 to solve. f of 4 is 15, so now we have f of 5 equals 2 times 15 plus 1. That gives us a final answer of f of 5 equals 31. We can check that using the sequence given in the table, and it's correct. Great work.